baby steps, steps in the right direction a little bit. Uh, I thought the guys, positive was the guys competed defensively. Uh, two quarters, under 25 points, that's the goal of ours. Um, negatives, same same issues, turnovers, 27 turnovers. Um, you know, they got caught with a lot of fouls. They shot 25 free throws in the first half, only nine in the second half, so we'll clean some of that up. Um, in the second half, but we're, we're taking steps. I think some of the things, we, we're not going to put complete games together just yet. Uh, but the positive was, was our effort on the defensive side. I thought we saw some good things out there. The shots weren't falling. We still had 20 assists on a 33% night. Um, you know, 27 turnovers <laughs> makes it tough on a 33% night. So, big issue. We got to get to fundamentals. We got to try and get back and uh, slow the game down a little bit for a couple guys. As we're learning our plays and learning each other, but uh, we'll get there. Coach, you have such a young team now. How do you teach the value of handling and, and controlling the ball and not turning it over to such a young team? Uh, it doesn't matter, young or old. It's, it's still patience, um, timing, execution. You know, we're about three or four plays tonight where we just didn't know the play. So I just, that just means we need to spend time in the gym working, uh, con continuing to work um, and getting on the same page. But that's, you know, that wasn't just the young guys. There are a couple of times where some of our older guys messed up some of those plays as well. So it's just, you know, reps, we need a lot of repetitions. That's why, you know, this month is important. The games aren't that important. It's, it's the days in between where we're spending time working on our execution. Coach, with the... 27 turnovers, you think this is just more of young guys still yeah. learning each other? Yeah, we had seven turnovers where our guys shuffled their feet. <laughs> and nothing to do with anyone else. Seven of them were, you know, shuffling the feet on a drive or on the catch or not shot ready. So I had, you know, seven of them had nothing to do with anyone. We had about four or five passes deflected that led to turnovers. Had nothing to do with anyone else not using a ball fake. I mean, these are just fundamental stuff. These are things that, you know, you play lower, you're shot ready, you're, you're catch ready, uh, you use a ball fake to move the defense. Uh, that's that's not the chemistry side of it. We, we've got to slow down, we've got to stay engaged while we're out there. Um, on both sides of the ball, what do you see out of DeAndre Hunter tonight that struck you? Um, you know, he's just, he's there. I think, you know, the one thing I didn't know is his ability to put the ball on the floor and get downhill. I mean, this is something we're seeing that's a little bit different than I think we saw at Virginia, you saw him, you know, everybody says he's a three and D guy. I think he's pretty good putting it on the floor and getting all the way to the rim. He gets fouled on the first one, they don't call it, but strong moves to the basket. Um, so we're able to use him in some pick and rolls with his size. He's able to go at five men at the rim pretty, pretty effectively. Uh, defensively, we just gotta, we, we gotta find a way to, to, to turn him up a little bit more. You know, he's a, he's a great cover defender, his lane, He's always in the right spot. I think he's got more green to offer, and, and we'll get him there. Coach, um, what went into the starting lineup, like the thought process in the first quarter versus the third quarter? Anything? Um, Cam's minutes. Just trying to, you know, I, I think sometimes starting guys, when they're on minute restrictions, they're a waste of minutes. You know, the guys are just getting warmed up and trying to get going. And, uh, we had five and a half minutes in the second half for Cam, and I thought it'd be better to let the game get going and bring him in in the middle and just play him one long stretch. So it was really more, more of that than anything else. What'd you like out of Bruno Fernando tonight? It looks like he had his legs on triple. His energy was better. Yeah, it definitely was. His energy was better. The voice still slowly coming along. Um, you know, it's hard when you're young, and we, there's a saying that, you know, it's hard to communicate your defense if you don't know your defense. It's hard to communicate if you don't know what to say. He's, he's still thinking and processing, so that's why the words aren't coming out the way we want them. But uh, I thought his energy was great in his first stretch. He gets a couple offensive rebounds. He's crashing. Uh, he gets tipped off. You know, I, that's what we need. We need him to be energetic, big, come in, use his voice, command the defense, run the floor, set screens, get behind the defense. Um, and he showed a little bit of that tonight. He hits a three, which was really big to see. Um, Coach, how hard is it to get things going offensively with how long the Magic are? They're good. I think this team is even better than last year. We struggled against them last year. Um, you know, they add Amino, they add Markel Foles, and, and it's just increased length at every position. Um, and that's tough. And that's, you know, the, the passes I talked about, 
we got to use ball fakes because of their length. And that's just an adjustment to, to certain teams and certain styles. We talked about it prior to the game. They're going to pull over on John. Uh, they're going to present. But we got to use ball fakes. We got to make simple plays. But credit to them. That's what they do.